And we're back with the Pidia. This is a really fun little game. And it is very hard, but I've been practicing, so I may be able to get further than I did last time. I have actually got quite a bit further in my solitary playing. And uh, I found one of the keys to success is to... Sorry, just concentrating. Um, to select the... You can either let it select uh, from that little row below uh, which power-ups you want itself, or you select with the second button. And I'm selecting with the second button because I don't like its choices. And uh, as you can see, I've got like two of those little bomber things now. Now, this is very important. These are not things to avoid, these are power-ups, and hopefully if I can get... Damn, I've only got two. Basically, they, they give you these little flashing shield things, and they're very useful. Um, I think, basically, each mushroom protects you from one hit. Uh, otherwise, it's a one-hit death. Yeah. And it's the only mushroom I've seen in the whole game so far, even though I haven't got very far. Whoa, watch it! Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is about this game I really like, uh, despite its difficulty. So I think I got hit there. Um, I mean, the music is obviously amazing. Chris Hulsbeck, the guy behind uh, um, Turrican. Now, this this weapon, I see how much damage I did with that? Hey, get, come here. There. Now, I don't know why I collected that. I mean, and I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm sort of collecting flying babies, angels I guess, amidst a horde of devils and they give me points. Now obviously, oh, angels bad, devils good, but why, I don't know, is this in a game about bees? I mean there's a strange backstory with like this manga character and his girlfriend or something, whoa, and uh, I don't think there's any end to that, you just sort of play until you get hit. And here's a little remixed version of the previous song there, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's worth playing this game just to hear the music. Uh, funny thing is, I saw a bee in like actual real life recently, and it's December. It, it, was, dis it was December, you know. So, what the fuck is a bee doing? I mean, it was just it was on the ground. It was just crawling along like. Dying from the cold, apparently. And I was like, "You dumbass! What are you doing? This is not your time." To all things, there is a time, and the time of insects is the summer. That's why I don't like the summer so much. Cause fucking bees and wasps are trying to attack me. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd think this game would creep me out a bit. Like a lot of people don't like spiders. I don't mind spiders, but it's flying things that bug me because they can fly in your mouth and get in your ears. A spider you can just avoid fairly easily and squish if you need to. I usually just capture them. There we go. So upgrade to my weapon now. Now, look how powerful this is. You can't actually hurt him until you uh, get in close. And then he starts throwing shit at you and burping his fiery breath. And then he's dead. Fucking quick. Now, there's another weapon I didn't know about. You hold in the button and let it go, and you can let this sort of massive thing fly out of you. Um, but once you've got this level of upgrades, it's not really any more useful than the main weapon. And, uh, yeah. Not as much of a fan of this tune as before, but it is quite good still. I've been to this level before. I've finished stage one fully. Before, but I haven't got past stage two. Yeah. Oh shit. Now, the problem with this I have with this game is oh shit, these these these, these leaves are surprisingly deadly. But um, they do give you flowers. So and now you see I've got little two bee little bee companions. That's the maximum you can get. And I'm getting quite close to what maximum uh, upgrade level I can get to. But you can keep upgrading the sort of uh, whoa, waving weapon thing. You can get more speed too, but I I can't control this thing at any greater speed, so it's not much use to getting that upgrade. As you can see, my shield is rather diminished now. 
But yeah, the problem I have with this game is that when you die, you lose a lot of your upgrades, like one level for all your upgrades, and you also... Oh dear, here's the... hang on a minute, this, this, this boss is kind of hard if you don't do a lot of damage early on. Oh shit! Oh good, I got him. He hit me, but that took, that took down my shield to minimum. <laughs> His little body exploding down there. Yeah, I survived seeing one screaming manga man for some reason. Yeah, because obviously this not obviously this guy is a trans is transformed into a bee because he thought that was the best way to save his girlfriend or something. Weird, I know, but <laughs> whatever. And now if I get another upgrade of that, you can see it sways a bit more. As I was trying to say before, the problem I have with this game is once you die, you lose your upgrades and it becomes basically oh damn it. See, now, I've still got a fair amount of... What? This is flickering. Why is everything flickering? This didn't happen before. Damn it. Okay. Um, so now I'm inevitably going to die because I've... Uh, well, maybe not. But it, it just it's, it makes it so you might as well not have any extra lives. You know, because if you're going to lose all your ability to kill things, then what's the point? You become totally outmatched. By everything, because oh, yeah. See, I'm starting to lose now. I never do as well. See, look at that. That's not right. <laughs> Damn it! It must be the recording software or something. Because that's never happened before. It's never happened to me before. I swear it. It's cold. I I, I was drunk. Um, no. <laughs> it's not just insects I'm fighting now. It's fucking fish and 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 asteroids apparently. Some bastard is throwing shit into this pond. Although, I don't know how this beast survives underwater. Insects don't tend to do well underwater. Their spiracles get full of the, uh, of the water and they, they suffocate. Yeah, they don't have lungs, they have spiracles. And this thing is a bastard. If you don't have any upgraded weapons, you just can't get past it as far as I can tell. Fortunately, I still do. Whoa, fuck. So yeah, I like this game, but I'd like it to be easier, so I could actually play it some more. Oh, fuck. See, now I'm just not going to say about this fucking pea shooting. Now, if I don't shoot these things, they won't come out of those bubbles. But at the same time, I've got to not shoot anything else. Everything above the water is flickering, damn it. Oh, I'm not going to make it much further. See, now I'm just reduced to this pea shooter and a slow-moving bee. I've just got no chance. So, what's the point in having even more than one life, or even having, I get three continues, but what's the point, you know? Anyway, I'm pretty much up with this, so, uh, it's a really fun game, if you're good at shooters. Um, but I think I've basically reached the limit of my ability with this thing. See, I can't kill those things, and now they're not going to stop following me, and I'm dead. Oh well. That was a Pidgey. Great lot of fun, and I won't continue. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Don't forget, categorised lists of all my videos can be found at tinyurl.com slash jimplays.